Okay, I'm Scott. This is Motivated by Mountains, and today I want to talk to you about a piece of gear that I have fallen in love with. It's one of my favorite pieces of gear that I own right now, and I've been wearing the thing constantly since I got it whenever it's chilly outside. And that is this hoodie that I'm wearing right now. This is the hoodie made by Appalachian Gear Company. It is 100% alpaca and it is super buttery soft, breathes amazingly well, super thin, stretchy, sheds water. I mean, to be honest, it's kind of like uh, the magic fiber. Low bridge. So let me just get into some of the details of this thing and then you can decide for yourself. So like I said, I picked this hoodie up a few months ago. Um, I, a friend of mine, Chris, had picked one up at Trail Days. He was telling me about it and he was pretty excited about it. So I got excited about it and I thought, man, I need to check these things out. So I ordered one from Appalachian Gear Company and um, I had a trip coming up to Alaska. I knew I was gonna be in some colder temperatures. This was back in September. And so I was excited to take it with me and you know try it out and see how well it performed. And so I did take it to Alaska and I got it in some colder temps and I wore it every day and immediately just loved the thing. So, the hoodie is very simple. There's not much to it. I mean, it's basically just straight hoodie. Has a nice big deep hood. Covers your face pretty well. I can actually even pull it down further if I want to. It's really stretchy. Um, it doesn't have a drawstring around on the hood, but I normally carry a buff whenever I hike and I backpack. So what I do is I just pull it over my hood and that closes this gap, or I put a, pull it over my head underneath the hood, which closes the hole here, traps heat, and I'm able to regulate my temperature really well. And I would do that with any hoodie. Um, so another thing about this hoodie that you're gonna notice is it doesn't have a pocket. Everybody freaks out about the kangaroo pocket. Gotta have a pocket, gotta have a pocket. Well, a kangaroo pocket is nice. You can put your hands in the pocket or you can store things. But honestly, I've found with this hoodie that I really am not missing it that much. Um, App Gear Company was smart about the sleeves, and they made the sleeves long enough that if I extend my arm out, it doesn't pull back at all. I mean, it's so long, and it doesn't come over my hand. It's not annoyingly long, but they made them long enough that I can easily take the sleeves and pull them over my hands, kind of like gloves. And that's what I've done on my last few trips, backpacking. I've had this thing in the 20s, low 20s, um, definitely cold, in the wind, and hanging out in camp and or when I'm hiking and walking, I just pull these things over my hands and I'm good to go. I stay nice and toasty, my hands don't get cold. Um, so that's a really nice feature that the sleeves are so stretchy like that. Uh, the other thing is the back of this fleece, or hoodie, is really long they made the tail very long and to be honest when I first got the hoodie I thought man that's really weird um, thought it was kind of crazy long but to be honest it's really nice um, especially when you're in camp and you know you're setting up your tent or you're doing camp chores or whatever and you go to bend over it's windy no draft no cold air um, keeps you totally warm um, I find even just standing around, it keeps you much warmer. And the other thing with your backpack, um, I don't use a hip belt most of the time. Um, and sometimes with other fleeces or other shirts, I find that my shirt will kind of start to work its way up my back. And eventually uh, my pack is kind of moving around on my waistline. But with this, I find that it really stays down and it's, it's super comfortable. So uh, let's see, what else do we have? packability of this hoodie. Um, I find it's pretty similar to like a hundred weight fleece. So if I had a regular thin hundred weight fleece with a hood, 
I would imagine they would pack down the same size. It's not going to pack as small as a, you know, a down jacket or something like that because it's not a down jacket. But I find the packability to be just fine. The durability, the build quality of this hoodie, man, the stitching and everything, um, in my opinion, is fantastic. I think this thing is going to last for a long time. They actually have what they call a trail seam. I'm not a seamstress. I don't sew. I really don't know that much about those type of things. But I know that when I look at the way this thing is, is sewn and I look at the way that it's built and I, and I get up close on everything, there's no loose stitching. Everything looks great. Um, and I did ask John about some of those things. Um, and he told me that, uh, you know, they've had a lot of folks uh, through hiking the Appalachian Trail. They've pe had people through hike the PCT and all using this gear and it's held up really well for an entire through hike and so there you go that's going to tell you that it's definitely durable for someone like me who's doing like five day trips at a time maybe a little bit longer i would expect this thing to hold up for years another really cool thing about this hoodie is the fact that it's environmentally friendly um, with all of my gear i always try and get the best balance of performance versus uh, environmental impact. Um, I'm always trying to find something that's going to be better for the planet because I feel like that's what we should be doing. And this hoodie, I don't think you're going to find anything out there that's going to come even close to being as environmentally friendly as this particular hoodie is. Um, alpacas as an animal have much lower impact on the planet and the process that they use to make this particular fabric has virtually no chemicals, uses much less water. So all around everything, this thing is much, much, much more environmentally friendly and that's super rad. Okay, so we've talked about the performance of this hoodie and how amazing it is. So last thing, how do you get it? How much does it cost? Well, it's not a cheap hoodie by any means. Um, it's gonna run you about 140 bucks which I'm sure a lot of people are thinking, oh man, that's expensive. Well, if you run out and get a Patagonia R1 hoodie, you're gonna be right in that same ballpark as well as a lot of other hoodies that are out there. Is it more expensive than some? Sure, it is. But I think if you compare apples to apples and what you're getting and how well this thing performs and how great it is for the environment, you know, spend that extra dollar and get something that is durable and that's, you know, a great product and that's another thing that brings us to the company Appalachian Gear Company uh, my experience with these guys so far has been fantastic um, they answer every question I have they let me drill them with emails and direct messages through Instagram and I, I mean I'm just bothering the hell out of them because I'm so excited about their stuff and they're great about it they just bounce all the information right back to me um, extremely helpful and they're also involved in a lot of programs that are great for the trails great for national forests great for the planet so they're doing good things they're working in their communities so great company great hoodie can't say enough good things about it so i suggest that you definitely check out the appalachian gear hoodie all alpaca my favorite piece of gear right now I will put links in the description below so you can go check them out. So do it. I'll see you on the next one.